opportunity. You know, our grandparents fought wars and established an awesome economy, and we have opportunity, you know, that we... You know, we're, we're frustrated if we don't get to go to college or if we don't get the right college. You know, we're, we're frustrated if we don't get the right job. I mean, even people that are suffering in this country, and there's still many that are, still have access to things that um, many people around the world don't have access to. Basic things, basic things like the opportunity to get an education at a, as a child, access to medical care. Um, you know, there's so many things that we um, take for granted, but what we realized when we spent you know, just a little bit of time in Africa um, it's, and by the way, it wasn't the first time we'd gone and seen people living in poverty or people struggling with issues of disease. Um, but what was we were really struck by was um, seeing how many of these small contributions and these small solutions were really the things that were making a difference. Um, friends in our hometown in Tulsa that donated technology um, that allowed doctors to communicate with patients in a way that, that made people that had you know only a cell phone made them have access to their doctor, um, and they decided to donate something that they could have asked for, you know, millions of dollars for. They said, you know what, give this away. This will save lives. Um, and it's all about, well, what do we have? What do individuals have? Um, we could all wait around thinking somebody else has a better idea, somebody else is smarter. Africa is, you know, it's really far away, and what's, you know, why is that my problem? Um, but what's so amazing about this whole, the quest of taking these walks is when you walk barefoot, you feel the soles of your feet burn, and um, you kind of start going, this is awkward, and why are we doing this? Um, yeah. You start recognizing these basic, the basic, the way we live is so padded. We, we're so padded from our need. We're so padded from um, the real questions of what, what's the pursuit of happiness? What are we doing all this for? What are we really living for? And when you do one thing, when you reach out and you say, you know what, I can make this one difference in one person's life, all of a sudden it starts to make more sense. Um, the whole walks, when we started this walk tour, one of our main things that we were doing was helping Tom Shoes. Uh, it's a really great example of how you can use your business and your ideas to make a difference. Tom donates a second pair of shoes every time you buy one of their shoes. Um, they didn't wait to one day do good things with their company. They said, you know what, we can build our company on giving. Um, does anybody have Tom's? Anybody? I know there's some Tom's here. Um, we've had so many Tom's shoes people buy Tom's that we've, a lot of these cases we've run out of them. Um, but when we finish these walks, you guys can find out some more about how to get Tom's shoes. Um, when we started this whole tour, we sat down with Blake and started Tom's and said, hey, we want to we wanna talk to our fans and other people about how they can be a part of making a difference and help you guys reach your goal. Um, so far, we've, reached, we've helped Tom sell over 50,000 pairs of shoes just by doing these walks. Um, it's an incredible thing. It's like 50,000 pairs of shoes is not a bunch of people buying thousands of pairs. It's just individuals, one at a time. I'll buy a pair, I'll buy a pair, I'll buy a pair. Maybe I'll buy two or three. But if this compounding, maybe I'll buy ten. Maybe some people bought some people bought a bunch of pairs. Um, but still, it's these small numbers of people coming together, and all of a sudden, the, the, the number is huge. Um, when we started this whole idea of doing walks, we thought we might just be three guys walking down the street like nutcases. <laughs> we are, but now you guys are still following us. <laughs> but amazingly, we've been followed by we, you guys have you guys have joined us, and thousands of people have joined us all over the country. And um, the rest of this year, we'll be also traveling outside of the states, and hopefully, we'll be taking the walk all over the world. Um, but one of the things that you know, when we finished this last leg of the walk tour, we said we were going to deliver the shoes um, because we wanted to connect this whole message of. Uh, the reality that a pair of shoes or a simple action or a walk or just using what you've got really made a difference. And we flew to Africa to our second time and sat there with kids um, and literally put them on their feet one at a time. Um, and you sat there with a five-year-old that walks 10 kilometers a day both ways just to try and get to school. And you think, well, God, that one mile I walked, um, that wasn't really that bad, right? Um, that one pair of shoes is going to change somebody's life the same way the power that you guys have, the ideas that you have, the, the ability that you have to make a difference with the jobs you take, the ideas that you have, the people you influence. Um, that's what this is about. This is about you guys. Obviously, we're not um, we're not talking to a bunch of people that are watching us. This is about you guys, the ones that are walking. This is about the uh, ways that you're going to be a part of making a huge difference because um, nobody's going to force you. Um, it's going to have to be a decision to make. And... Um, also, I think it is really uh, interesting to talk about a couple of really specific things before we finish this walk. One of the things is, to give you perspective, approximately, it, approximately a hundred, uh, let's see, let's see, it's, it's, it's <laughs> approximately 120 times the size 
of actually no, I'm sorry, twelve times the size of twelve times the size of Albany. More than twelve times the size of Albany is the amount of kids that don't have parents due to HIV and AIDS, making them orphans. Over twelve million kids. Now by now you say, wow, that's a lot of kids. Well now imagine this. They're projecting that by two thousand ten only le less than three years from now, it's just now getting into two and two and a half, it will be, uh, it's expected to be 25, okay? It's gonna, all, it's gonna more than double in only a handful of years. Then think about this. I talked to a, a, a guy that's walking with us today and he said, dude, we're totally outnumbered. There's so many girls on this walk. <laughs> and I said, well, yeah, you know, if we were all single, this would be really, really cool. Um, but uh, that being said, what I what I think is really appropriate about that is the amount of age cases in Africa. Men are severely outnumbered to women. Women have a much higher rate of infection of HIV and AIDS, and I think it is incredibly appropriate that there are so many women on this walk today. You guys, this is about women's rights around the world as well. This is about whether or not you guys stand up for those who cannot stand up for themselves. And I think that is incredibly important and incredibly powerful. And I think that you as young women in the United States have an incredible opportunity to save the lives of women your age and younger than you that need help. So think about that. That's incredible. The, um, we have another half mile or so to go. Um, but the other thing that's so important about doing the walk today is um, we can start simple. So we're starting, one of the things we talked about is doing is starting with a pair of shoes. Um, talking about age and poverty, those things are so intricately connected. You can't um, get an education, you can't get access to um, getting a job without basic things. And a pair of shoes is, you know what, it's not. It's nothing to frown on. It's, it's a huge, huge difference. So. Um, Today we can, as we finish this walk, as we're walking down the road and feeling our feet 